Thanks for tuning in, guys. I am the Creamy. I am a noob. I hate to say that, but I am. Look at that right there. I'm throwing this guy a uh, health pack when I should be trying to revive him, which I didn't even know you could do that in this game, which is pretty cool. You can actually revive people if you are the whatever it is. I can't really tell you guys because I don't know. Uh, there's another thing I don't know right here. I don't know how to deploy my parachute. <laughs> and so... Um, if one of you guys know how to do that, please leave in the comments below because I t I'm telling you guys, I spent, I kept jumping off of stuff dying in this game because I was pressing buttons trying to figure it out, and I haven't, I haven't figured it out. I've only played this game for maybe an hour, and I spent most of it driving the vehicles. That's why you guys saw it. And right there, I was trying to deploy my parachute, and I threw a grenade. Um, luckily, I wasn't so high that I would, I would die when I hit, but. Trying to figure that out, I spent so much time driving the vehicles, like I said, and so that intro that you guys watched was just kind of a few clips of just random stuff, and so I thought I would throw that up just because I only have like an hour's worth of gameplay on this right now. I know this game's been out for a while now. I guess it's been a couple months. My impressions are... I have a lot to learn. I hope that Titanfall, when it comes out, I'm just thankful that we're all going to be in the same place when that game comes out as far as the learning curve is concerned. Because going into this game, and I'm sure it's the same way for people that play strictly Battlefield and they come over to Call of Duty games, um, it's just the learning curve. Everyone else knows so much um, and just trying to pick up the pieces and try to figure out how to get kills when everyone else knows what's going on is quite difficult and so it was really discouraging playing this this uh because i was expecting to just come on like i do on call of duty and just kill people and no big deal and then i get onto this and it's just like wow i have to slow it down and that can be hard because when you're playing call of duty for years and years and years you just get into that mentality of rushing around and this game is definitely harder, like, hands down. It's a harder game, which I actually enjoy, because it's going to make me play more strategic. It's going to help. I have to get more zoned in as far as looking for people, because it is harder to see people in this game. There's just so much going on. But it makes it fun. It really does. It's a nice alternative to Call of Duty. So, you know, and driving the vehicle is another thing. I love driving the vehicles. It is a blast. Um, overall, I'm really happy I ended up getting this. Like I said, it's a great alternative to Call of Duty games. Um, the maps are insane. Like, I can't get over how big these maps are. And right here, you guys are going to laugh. Like, I really need to learn how to deploy my parachute, because I probably should have died on that fall. Um, but it is what it is. If you guys can, please let me know. I would appreciate it. I know I've said that like five times in this video, but I really do want to know. I keep, dropping, like I said, jumping off of things and just killing myself, and that's getting aggravating. Um, but if you enjoyed this, you guys, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I will be posting more Battlefield 4 videos, and that's about all I got, you guys. As always, especially in this game, be sure to check your corners.